Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Yo, Brian Kohlberger, where is the knife to the sheath? Where's the knife to the sheath? Reminds me of the Wendy's commercial. Where's the beef? Where's the knife to the sheath? I want to show you a clip right here. Look at the affidavit of probable cause, state of Idaho versus Brian Kohlberger, and you will see that on the, the next day into the 13th, around noon, Brian Kohlberger made his way down to Lewiston, Idaho, and he was driving along the Snake River to Clarkston, Washington. I'm going to show you that route because the river is there. The Clearwater River, Snake River is there. Did Brian Kohlberger get rid of that knife? Check this route out right here. Lewiston, Idaho. Lewiston, Idaho. Brian Kohlberger took this route according to the affidavit of probable cause. He drove across this bridge here and then eventually made a right on Highway 12 and then drove along the Snake River. We are crossing the Clearwater River right now, which connects to the Snake River. Did Brian Kohlberger throw the murder weapon, the knife, into the river? The Clearwater River or the Snake River? That is a mystery. Why was Brian Kohlberger down here? And he went up the street a little bit according to the pings and then worked his way back down here and went this way to towards Clarkston, which is a few miles down the road. But up here, I'm going to show you this road here travels along the river. The Clearwater and or Snake River. Plenty of opportunity around here to dispose of the murder weapon. This is right along the river. Like here, this is called the Lewiston Levee Parkway. And up over that bank is the river. Railroad. Where is this murder weapon? Brian Kohlberger could have came to one of these parking lots here, got out of his vehicle, like this, go onto this rock walkway. And then go over this bank and you will see the river. There is the knife. Where did Brian dispose of the knife? 
Did he get rid of it? Does he have it somewhere hidden? Is it down here in the Clarkston, Washington, Lewiston, Washington area? It's a mystery. What did he come down? Why did he come down to this location? Why did he go to the Albertsons? by Kate's Cup of Joe. Why was he zigzagging in Lewis? And look at this right here. The river. The river. No cameras around here. Easy way to get the knife, throw it right over, undetected. This is the Clearwater River that connects down here to the Snake River. Kohlberger went over there beyond that building into Clarkston. Retracing the steps of Brian Kohlberger figuring out why he came down to this location there's a gag order police are not revealing information prosecution Lake Tahoe County prosecution prosecutor Thompson assistant Jennings not releasing information Even Brian Kohlberger's own defense team and Taylor not releasing information. Brian Kohlberger came from over that mountain. 95, 195, take 195 north to Holman. But after these murders happened, Brian Kohlberger, according to the affidavit of probable cause, came down here. Well, his phone did. I'm 100% certain he was with his phone. His phone's, his phone pinged down in this location. I'm gonna take you on a drive a little bit further. Look at the affidavit. Look on the affidavit. He, his phone pinged along this route, Highway 12 from Lewiston to Clarkston. He had to have been down here for a reason. What was that reason? It's not clarified. Not clarified at all. So we're on the hunt to find answers. We are on the hunt to find answers. Why? I'm sure the families want to know why. I know the media wants to know why. I want to know why. I'm sure some of you want to know why. It does matter. It does matter. Site ahead. What site is this? Eighteenth Street Bridge, John 
slot 18th Street Bridge. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. What is this bridge? Look at that bridge. Lewiston's first bridge. Here's the bridge in water. Coburger definitely could have came up here and threw that knife into the water. Why was Brian Coburger down here? It's also a pond there. Could have threw the murder weapon into a pond. Chose this area for a particular reason. John Silcock, 18th Street Bridge. Lucent's first bridge across the Clearwater River was constructed in 1913. Where is the knife? The hunt continues. The hunt continues. For that knife. Where is the knife? Places you can pull over. Look like there was two places that we stopped at along this river that you could throw something off. Two spots. Get out of your car instantly, and then get back in your car. Santa Snake River Avenue. Let's see down here the Snake River Hell's Gate State Park. Now that way over there and then you turn around you cross over the bridge it, right here and you go into Clarkston. Kohlberger, was Kohlberger over here anywhere? He was down here. The hunt continues for answers. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. Why was Brian Kohlberger down here in this area? Why? We'll talk soon. Justice for the victims and their families. Everyone be safe. God bless. Where is the knife to the sheep? Why was Brian Kohlberger down there in Clarkston and Lewiston, Idaho? Why was he driving along that route there that I just showed you parallel to the Clearwater River before you hit the bridge up to take you over to Clarkston? Brian Kohlberger was down there.
According to the affidavit of probable cause, based off his phone pings, unless someone else had his phone, truly doubt that. And, you know, surveillance, pinpointing his vehicle, scattering around the area. Albertsons, Kate's Cup of Joe. What's going on here, people? Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. Do you think Brian Kohlberger got rid of the knife down there in Clarkston, Washington? Threw it in the river. Shh. Gone. Evidence gone. But it doesn't matter because the affidavit of probable cause is very strong and you don't need it. Because obviously they arrested Brian Kohlberger. We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.